best movies of the year. Presenting by NFI. Number 10. Coming in number 10 on NFI's best of 2017, another independent film, Lady Bird, with an incredible 100% Rotten Tomato rating. I don't think I've ever seen that personally. And an 8.4 on the IMDb scale, doing um, pretty well for the type of movie that it is box office wise. Mm -hmm. You've seen Lady Bird, tell me a little bit about it. It's, it's a wonderful coming of age movie where you're experiencing these moments in a young woman's life as she's growing and developing and searching for herself and knowing herself more and experiencing all of these different people and the struggle she has to go through in her family emotionally, financially, her circumstances, and her kind of idolization of Sacramento, and her trying to find herself in this life that she's living. And we're seeing glimpses of it through like moment by moment, but it's all organic and emotionally charged, and everyone is on point. I hate California. I want to go to the East Coast. I want to go where culture is, like How New in the York, world did I race or at least snow. Connecticut or New Hampshire, no, where writers live in the world. Get into those schools anyway. Mom, you should just go to City College. You know, with your work ethic, just go to City College and then to jail and then back to City College and then maybe you'd learn to pull yourself up and not expect everybody to do everything. <laughs> Lady Bird, is that your given name? Yeah. Why is it in quotes? I gave it to myself. It's given to me by me. Lady Bird always says that she lives on the wrong side of the tracks, but I always thought that that was like a metaphor. But there are actual train tracks. What she did was very baller. It was very anarchist. Put the magazine back! <laughs> she has a big heart, your mom. She's warm, but she's also kind of scary. You can't be scary and warm. I think you can. Your mom is. So, you're not interested in any Catholic colleges? No way. I want schools like Yale, but not Yale because I probably couldn't get in. <laughs> you definitely couldn't get in. Does mom hate me? If you're tired, we can sit down. I'm not tired. You were dragging your feet. You are so infuriated. Will you stop yelling? I'm not yelling. Oh, oh it's God. perfect. Do you love it? You both have such strong personalities. <laughs> When is a normal time to have sex? You're having sex. I'm ready. Just wanted it to be special. Why? You're gonna have so much unspecial sex in your life. Ah! We're afraid that we will never escape our past. Whatever we give you, it's never enough. It's never it enough. It is enough. We're afraid of what the future will bring. We're afraid we won't be loved. You can't do anything unless you're the center of attention. We won't be liked. Yeah, well, you know your mom's tits, they're totally fake. She made one bad decision at 19. Two bad decisions. And we won't succeed. I want you to be the very best version of yourself that you can be. What if this is the best version? What I'd really like is to be on Math Olympiad. But math isn't something you're terribly strong in. That we know of yet. Was there a payoff to the story that worked well for you? I would say so, but it also feels like when it ends, I, w I wouldn't have even mind like if it kept going. Like, I enjoyed seeing where those characters were going. It's, she reaches a moment in her life later on by the end of the movie, and it feels like she's probably off having all these other moments in her life in this next big chapter, as, uh, along with her like parents and all these other individuals that she's e experienced in her life. And I would have loved to have even seen more. Based on the positive feedback on the Rotten Tomatoes, the IMDb, and the box office, maybe we will see more. I hope so. All right. That's why it ends up number 10 on our list. Leaves you wanting more.